Hey guys, I went to Rite Aid today and I'm so excited about my little haul because this is my first time ever doing the Rite Aid Up Reward uh, program dealy thing, whatever you want to call it. It's my first time. So I'm pretty excited about my deals. Now, I did not walk in the door with any up rewards. So that so-called had to buy into the program. So that means I had to purchase some items so that I can get some up rewards so that I can roll them over to other transactions. I've done it at CVS and Walgreens, but never at Rite Aid. So first, I want to go and start by saying I go to southernsavers.com and I select the items that I'm interested in. It then tells me um, how much the items are, what up rewards I'm going to get back, where the coupons are located, whether I have to clip them from out of my bind, um, out of my binder or I need to print them somewhere online. So this is my reference that I go by. And then I make out my little spreadsheet where I have them break, broken down into six transactions. That was my plan going into Rite Aid this morning. I went at 7 o'clock so that I can get my transactions done, not hold up the line, get in, get out, and go to work. Okay, so I'm thinking everything's going to go fine. Happy, lucky, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I go and do my first transaction. I do the carry lotion that's on sale for $6.99 and I buy the three sodas that are three for $3.33. You get back $2 in up rewards for the 7-Up and then you get $6 in up, uh, up rewards for the carry lotion. So after all the coupons are applied and um, all, after all the coupons are applied, I am coming out of the door paying $9.49. Not so good, but as we proceed, it will get a little better. Um, so now we have $8 to roll with. So I then go and do my second transaction, which consists of the Lysol, No Touch Soap, the Stay Free Maxi Pads, and I had to use a Kit Kat as a filler item. So I asked Chick, um, where are the little chocolate drops with the cherries in them and she says well we don't have those I said well what do you have in here that I can use as a filler item that's you know 55 60 cents well you just have to look in the bag because I, I can't tell you just have to look I said so you can't tell me anything that you have in the store that's in the price range that I'm looking at no you just have to, you have to kind of look. okay so after all of that, I already knew it was going to be a problem. She is not coupon friendly. She was not trying to help me out. So I only did three transactions at that store, and I opted to continue the transactions at another Rite Aid. So in the middle of my transactions, um, me and her are going back and forth on what I can use because the Kit Kat had a um, coupon on it. She told me you can't use it because it had to be over 51 cents. Okay, so just don't worry about the coupon. Just give me the Kit Kat. So I paid for the Lysol, the Stay Free, and the Kit Kat. After the $3 the is applied to the Lysol, and I also use this use the $1.50 that's in the flu coupon savings book. I used my 75 cents off of a Stay Free item paying a um, dollar and 26 cents so that included the candy and the tax so um, I got five dollars back from the Lysol two dollars back from the stay free so I roll it over to transaction number three same thing Twix Lysol stay free use the same coupons the three dollar the 150 and the 75 cents for the stay free. I get the seven dollars back in up rewards and I roll it over to transaction four at the second Rite Aid. Cashier was super nice, he was friendly, he was super excited about my savings. You know, he didn't have any problems with my coupons, so everything was smooth sailing, and I knew it was going to be a good transaction. And I also like this uh, holiday one, too, and it's got the vanilla lotion in it, so I'll put that in my downstairs bathroom for the season. But I got the Lysol, and this time I got the 360 toothbrush. So I got back, um, I used the same coupon, the 3, the 150, 
and I use the 75 cent off coupon that's on Colgate.com. So my out of pocket transaction was just tax only, which was 49 cents. And then I rolled transaction, my register rewards of $7 to transaction five. So we know that the Colgate is $3.50 a piece. I have $7 left from my previous transaction. So this comes to $7.50. So he applies my $7. I pay 49 cents out of pocket and he gives me $7 back. I then roll it over to transaction number six. Exact same way, $7. I use my $7 up reward from my previous transaction and all I pay is 49 cents for transaction number six and we are rolling. I'm walking out of the door with seven dollars and up rewards. So technically this transaction was about twelve dollars out of pocket but I got back seven dollars in up rewards making me my out-of-pocket expense about five dollars so we got the carry lotion three seven ups we got three lysols two candies two stay free pads four colgate toothpaste and a colgate toothbrush for four dollars not bad i can just pat myself on the back i think i did good for my first time ever so this is my right aid rolling haul so you guys, if you have any questions, please leave them below. I'll be happy to answer any questions that you have. And I'll put all the details of where all the coupons are in the um, info box. So you guys, please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Have a good evening. Bye.